57% of men do it, 40% of women do it, but no one wants to admit it. Snoring. According to the Sleep Foundation, in most cases, snoring is harmless, although highly disruptive. But there is a cheap and easy way to get a good night's sleep. Snoring, the thief that steals your sleep in the night. Tommy Kraut doesn't snore loudly. He doesn't snore. He purrs. It's like a... But it's enough to wake his wife up. I remember waking up a couple mornings and you're out here. Megan Rodriguez Kraut needs her eight hours of uninterrupted sleep to compete as a bikini bodybuilder. Next up, 981, Megan Joe Kraut. And for her job as a dental hygienist. And she wants to spend every night next to her husband. I said, I do not want to be that woman in the other bedroom. Megan discovered a way to help her husband stop snoring from her dentist. It didn't involve surgery or expensive equipment. She told him to tape his mouth shut. Well, I was skeptical at first, too. I mean, taping my mouth all of a sudden, which sounds crazy, but it definitely helped me. And if individuals are breathing through an open mouth during sleep, they're more prone to obstructive sleep apnea, they're more prone to insomnia, and also to snoring and lighter sleep that they wake up feeling unrefreshed. Patrick McCowan is an internationally recognized expert on breathing and has written several books on the benefits if you close your mouth and breathe entirely through your nose. The nose produces a gas called nitric oxide, which is antibacterial and antiviral. He says the nose is the first line of immune defense, and he has long advocated for mouth taping to stop snoring and sleep better. I started taping my mouth back in 1997, and I remember waking up after the second night of the mouth taped. I woke up in the morning, and it was definitely the best night's sleep I had in about 15 years. Healthy people probably would have no danger with doing that and could conceivably feel better. Dr. Fred Campbell is an internist with University Health. He says the biggest concern over mouth taping is the lack of long-term scientific studies. He also has a warning for people with acid reflux. I would be careful about uh, the issue of, of um, vomiting or regurgitation in, in those people that are susceptible. And uh, above all, uh, check with a health professional uh, to make sure that uh, this kind of maneuver is safe. All you need to try this is inexpensive cloth tape that you tape across your mouth. You can get this at the pharmacy. You can add nasal strips or nasal dilators like these, called mute, tiny pieces of plastic that keep your nostrils open. Megan tapes her mouth too, even though she doesn't snore. It's been the biggest game changer in my, in my life. She's getting a much better night's sleep. My mood, my attitude, everything was just better. Including her marriage. I don't want to have to wear earplugs or anything like that. Like, so he just wears a piece of tape and we're great. And we are now using the tape in our home. Mm -hmm. And if my husband falls asleep and hasn't done it, I get up and tape his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm terrified. This is going to give my wife an idea. She wants to tape my mouth when I'm eating. Exactly. Can you imagine this waking is, up? Yeah. You know, I can see Celso waking up and you're over him with tape. I am. <laughs>